here this is the question of linear programming it's the confirmed question confirmed question for six marks in the board one kind of cake requires 200 gram of flour and another and 25 gram of fat and another kind of cake requires 100 gram of flour and 50 gram of fat find the maximum number of cakes which can be made from 5 kg of flour and 1 kg of fat assuming that there is no shortage of other ingredients in this question we have two kinds of cake that is cake 1 and another is cake 2 let's say hit x and say it y first if you make the table that would be easy to understand the question and that would be easy to make the equation and solve it so first kind of cake requires 200 gram of flour and 25 gram of fat that means there are two main ingredients that is first is flour and second is fat so flour requires 200 gram of flour and 25 gram of fat that is 200 x and 25 x as it's of cake one in these are the two main ingredients of a cake one now another kind of cake requires 100 gram of flour and 50 gram of fat that means 100 x sorry y and 50 y okay now find the maximum number of cakes which can be made from 5 kg of flour that means flour can be used less than equal to 5 kg okay and fat can be used and 1 kg of fat that means fat can be used less than 1 kg so my first equation becomes 200 x plus 100 y less than equal to 500 kg is 5000 gram yes or no okay so if i divide this whole equation by 100 so i will get 2x plus y less than equal to 50 this is my equation 1 now for second equation i will take the whole fact that is 25x plus 50y less than equal to 1 kg 1 kg is 1000 gram okay so if i divide this equation by 25 i will get x plus 2y less than equal to 40 less than equal to 40 this is my equation 2 now i have to make put this equation in boxes and uh, i have to and this two equation will give me two lines on the graph so first equation is 2x plus y less than equal to 50 and another equation is x plus 2y less than equal to 40 okay x and y x and y if i put x zero in this equation then y would be simply 50 and if i put zero in y that means sorry if i put zero in y so that would be 50 upon 2 that is 25 this is very easy guys now if i put x equals to 0 in this equation that means 40 by 2 that is 20 and if i put y equal to 0 in this equation that means x equal to 40 okay now I, these are the points these are the coordinate coordinates which i have to plot on the graph so this would be easier okay i will look out the numbers and i have to plot this on so now I have to plot these values on the graph. So first point is x0 and y50. That means x0 and y50. That is at here. And now second point is y0 and x50. y0 and x25. Sorry. It's here. Okay. Now another is x0, y20. x0, y20. 20 okay and the next is y0 and x40 so so this is the these are the two lines which are plotted from this these points so these two lines are intersecting here and this point is y coordinate is 10 and x coordinate is 20 that means 20 comma 10 now the feasible region we have to find out and they will give us the four coordinates so this is the feasible region and why this is the feasible region i'm considering it because this is bounded by or less than this question was for less than equal to so i will take the down area so 
the down area considers four coordinates 0 0 and this is 0 20 and this is 20 10 and this point this point the visible region considering these four points and this point is 25 comma 0 so these are my four points so these are my four points first point is 0 0 that means this second point is 0 20 that means 0 20 next point is 20 10 that is 20 10 and next point is 25 0 that means 25 0 so I have to calculate the profit question in question it was find the maximum number of cakes which can be made from 5 kg of flour and 1 kg of fat assuming that there is no shortage of other materials so simply the equation of profit that is z equal to x plus y so if I put in this coordinate 0 plus 0 that is z equal to 0 this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate okay so if I put z x equals to 0 and y equals to 20 z equals to 20 and if z equals to 20 x equals to 20 and y equals to 10 that means z is 30 and now in this z is 25 so the maximum profit I am getting it is the maximum profit in which if I make 20 cakes of first type and 10 cakes of second type so I will get the maximum profit so here you will score 6 marks thank you and subscribe please